So I don't want to record myself because I'm being lazy right now and I'm tired. Because it's like totally 3.30 in the morning and I have to get up at like 8. Yeah, 8.30. I'm not going to bed, and I don't know why I'm not going to bed, but I'm having like a freak out moment right now, because I'm tired, I guess. I just recorded a 19 minute video of me just rambling about nothing, and I'm probably going to post like a few minutes of that video, because I had like some good thoughts, I guess. <coughs> But, um, I don't really know what I want to say. I am lonely. I want someone to talk to. And I hate having SED. It sucks. And, I have nobody to hang out with. And I have nobody that I can actually sit down with. And have a conversation, a judgment free conversation, an anxiety free conversation that understands me that I can actually engage in a helpful and decent and rewarding, satisfying conversation. So that sucks. I don't know what to do. See, that's the thing. Like, late at night, when you're sitting doing nothing and you have really nothing to do when you're still awake, generally, like, you get thoughts of that are bad. And you have those... Well, not bad. You have those thoughts where... That you push aside. That you don't want to think about. That you... Try to push out of your mind. And then I guess because you're tired, you can't hold back those, those thoughts anymore. And so, they come back up. And you have to think about them and deal with the fact that you don't know how, you want, how to deal with those particular things. And so, in a way, it's good. <coughs> because... Lately, I've been kind of pushing that away. And... It's boring just looking at Google, so... And I've been pushing that away. That I don't have anyone to talk to. Just you guys. And my parents, my sister. Who doesn't understand my SED. And Facebook. <clears throat> like, I've been doing these, these, um, several years ago. Um, I wanted to help out in the church with something. And so I asked my preacher what I could do, and he gave me these bulletins. We have a bulletin, you know, church bulletins. Um... And he gave me the job to send out those who shut ins that requested bulletins for me to mail those out. You know, they they had the envelopes printed out and everything, and all I had to do was get stamps out of his office and fold the bulletins up and mail them. I've been doing that for three years now. I decided I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. Because they decided, this lady decided she wasn't going to do, you know, print out the envelopes anymore because people kept changing their minds. That made me mad. Because I was like, you make up your mind. You either want a bulletin, or you do not. Don't change your mind every week. Because I, I don't even want to deal with that. Seriously? But they're older people, you know? And I'm not old. I'm young. I don't know what it's like to be old. You know? But I get angry at old people sometimes. I just... Like my papa, he's kind of losing it. He's in a nursing home now. He's getting a lot older. and 
He does some stupid stuff sometimes. Just makes me so mad. It's unnecessary, you know. But I do stupid stuff too, you know. But, um... What I was gonna say. Um... But yeah, I'm having trouble... I haven't really... Dealt with it. I've been pushing it away that... That I don't have anybody to talk to. I have thought about it, but I haven't really dealt with it. It's just kind of like... And again, this isn't a therapy session. But this is just thoughts that I'm having that I don't know what to do with. I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't have a friend that I can actually share something with. And people that understand me. That's something that... That's something that as a human being that we need. You know? An animal? They... Do what they do. They have an instinct. They have... A, a plan set out for them from the moment they're born. Eat live, you know, protect yourself, sleep. That is what they do. They have an instinct. We have to have a purpose. You know, and we have different emotional and mental needs. Like friendships. And the fact that that I need be understood. Um, I think I told you guys about this. I took a personality test. That was what was on, of on my results. My personality. I have to be understood. I have to have, to be sit down with somebody, tell them something, and share them share something about myself with somebody, and them understand, and them agree, and them all those things. I think you know what? I'm gonna read my personality test to you guys. If I can find it. Um, hold on a second. Pardon my hair again. It's, it's awful. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. This is actually pretty good insight, I guess. 